We have two objectives for math. First objective is to lay a strong foundation for P1 and P2. So in Learning Lab, we value the importance of training students to break down the questions and identifying the keywords and its familiar structures. So through that, we make use of ink trailing, which is noting of the keywords and its structures through highlighting and jotting down applicable strategies. At the same time, we also focus on examination techniques such as time management skills, reducing of careless mistakes and checking their work so to make sure that the answers are correct. At the same time, we also want to develop a love for the subject so through our in-house games and activities. The students enjoy it and they look forward to the game. At P2 level, we focus on building a foundation of knowledge of P1 topics and also make sure that the students master our new topics such as volume, mass, fractions and division. So at the same time, we also want to expose students to various heuristics such as model drawing, repeated identity, supposition method, working backwards, guess and check. Throughout the year, um, the P2 year, we want to make sure that they have a solid foundation in the, in the P2 topic so that they can move on to P3 and they will not struggle with P3. At the same time, we also want to ensure that students are able to solve two-step work problems through writing co the correct number sentences and final statement so that um, it will enhance higher order thinking and critical thinking skills to and solving non-routine problems. We have a group of curriculum specialists. They work on improving uh, the materials on a weekly basis. So they work very closely with the current school papers to uh, improve the questions so to benefit our students. On the first day, what happens on the first day? Now in the schools, we have performance tasks to test on students their um, skills, whether are they able to apply what they have learned to real life. So we make use of real life situations such as this in this, we make use of counting cubes. They will then have to find out the length of rectangle X and Y through the number of counting cubes. Students are encouraged to try, it, try this out independently under time condition. In this way, students get to apply what they learn and it's more engaging also compared to traditional assessments which largely confines them to what they learn in textbook and syllabus. So this allows them to think out of the box also and demonstrate their communication skills. We have an extensive <coughs> range of intensive and comprehensive revision handouts to prepare our students for their exams. It covers all the topics that covered in school that will be tested for their exam. For P1, especially for P1, they don't have formal exams, right? So we do have this kind of revision handouts, topical tests to prepare them for their topical tests, which is related to the topics they are tested on instead of covering a range of topics which might not be relevant to the topical tests they are given. Four, three, two, two. Can you say the pattern? Is it very easy now? Yeah. So even if I don't play the song, can you figure out what's the next one? Yeah.